Hello everyone, I've decided to take a break from Sparking Zero to Black Border some more maps. We're going to be doing the newest one, which is Ancient Portal. Now this is a pretty kind of um, interesting map. Basically, this is a one lane, sort of, I guess one half lane. Uh, you can kind of switch the track here, so if I were to push this button, I can realign the portal to go back to this side, and then I can push the button again, and this portal will go back to this side. Loons go from here into the portal, and then they'll exit out the portal into kind of either lane. Anyways, the strategy I want to go for today is going to be a little bit weird for this map. It's going to be tag zone, utilizing this lane. Uh, this means you won't really have a whole ton of time to really kind of damage balloons, but I do plan on pairing tag zone with something uh, like balloon solver, which will hopefully provide enough cleanup to be able to kind of handle really dense rounds like 98. So I also brought Gwen along because I could bring Geraldo and Geraldo probably would be a little bit better for kind of um, this scenario. But, you know, I've been kind of using Geraldo a lot and I decided to do something a little bit different. He's a hero that I don't normally use. Okay, so let's just see how far Dart Sub can go. Hopefully we can save it for Twin Guns. Once I get Twin Guns, I'll save for Gwen. Twin Guns now. Alright, perfect. And then, um... Uh, I just kind of realized that um, Gwen's going to be kind of useless for a lot of the part of the game. I do plan on using kind of a 202 sub for up until round 40. And then once round 40 hits, I'll kind of move everything, um, move the lane over here. So that's going to be a bit tough. But even though Gwen's not going to be doing too much, I think that dart sub is good enough to be able to handle this stuff. Yeah, I might get increased range. I mean, this is an advanced map, so Gwen's gonna be leveling pretty fast. So yeah, I'll get advanced until just be safe, and then I'll drop down Gwen. Uh, anyway, since there is a new boss that was added in this new update, which is Blast of Populous, I think that's how you say his name. Um, I think I'll get Gwen. I think Gwen, like, here should be fine. Oh, well, never mind. we died to 15. It's kind of surprising. So as I was saying, since there is a new boss, Blast of Populous, um, I did kind of want to update the kind of boss balloon guide, but I think I'll just kind of have Blast of Populous guide kind of it's like its own separate video. Then in the comments, I guess I'll just kind of pin that um, in case you do want to see that. But that won't really come for a while as I do kind of want to play a few weeks of um, Blast of Populous before I do make a kind of guide for him. I actually don't really know how he works. I haven't really watched or seen anything kind of balloons related in a really long time. I mean, if I had to guess, I think the same few towers are still going to be kind of meta, like, you know, like Elite Defender, Mad, Avatar Wrath, and all that stuff. Um, because, you know, Blast Populous still has a ton of HP, and there's very few towers that can actually burst down that amount of damage, so... Um, I kind of do expect that it's going to be similar towers that are going to be meta. Not really kind of a huge deviation from the norm. Um, but who knows, um, Ninja Kiwi could surprise me. Like I said, I haven't seen anything kind of related to you need the new bosses, so once the kind of Blast Populous weeks drops, I'll be sure to check it out. And I think I'm actually going to get Air Burst because um, round 15, of course, can be annoying. Actually, we don't even afford um, Air Burst before round 15. So let me just kind of see here. I think it's kind of the pink balloons that are screwing us over. Let me get this guy in strong. Uh, we're pretty close, though. I think I'm still going to get it anyways, just to be safe. And this will guarantee, like, surviving up until the next camera round, which is 24. And then since this is an advanced map, Gwen's going to level up pretty fast, so I don't really have to worry about Gwen levels. I think we'll still get level 20. I and mean, even if we don't, I don't think level 20 is really kind of necessary anyways. Um, I think I'll get Gwen, like, here. Yeah. If you couldn't tell already, I've done absolutely no planning. I'm just kind of going through and uh, winging it, so... Um, yeah, don't think the map is hard enough to where I really need to kind of go through and kind of plan out my defense. Alright, so now that we got a pretty strong uh, foothold, I'll get attack zone, like... I think Hirish is good. Or maybe kind of down. Yeah, I think down like here is fine. I still range of Gwen, which is perfect. I want to see if I can save it for uh, overdrive before the mob comes in, because if that is the case, then I can probably flip the lane over to this side. Which I think I will be able to, so that'd be perfect. All right, hopefully sub can kind of handle this because the this pink wave is pretty dense. All right, perfect. All right, overdrive now, and then I think I'm kind of safe outside of camos. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll realign it. I'll realign it. 
Hopefully I don't uh, end up regretting this. So and then I think I'll get my glue here. Alcbuff has been acquired. So I think this guarantees that we beat the Moab. I'd be surprised if this didn't. All right, so I'll take this slow. Okay, that broke down the shell. I'll just kind of throw this down just in case. Didn't even need it. Perfect. Um, round 42 is next round. I think I might have to move the portal back because round 42 has camos. Also, please tell me, I did see a little bit of space there as this gets both overdrive and glue. So I don't have to get kind of two separate uh, villages. I think I can kind of keep this because even though there is camos this round, I do believe that Gwen's cocktail hits camo. Now the question is, do I want to get primary training or do I want to get a mib? Even though I do know that uh, Gwendolyn can be used as a mib skip, I'm not really feeling confident in my ability to kind of properly use Gwendolyn for that. Also, I think the best cross path for Solver is 520 still. As I do know that Firestorm kind of gives everything the ability to hit lead, but I don't know though. I don't really use Gwen too often. Also, I'm going to go for Solver first before I go for kind of tax zone. Uh, just because. Overdrive already has good enough mob damage, so really it'd be cleanup that I'd be more concerned about. Also, I do believe that Liquifier did get buffed slightly. Although I only read the patch notes once, so I don't fully remember, but I do think I remember, I think it got like either like extra pierce or extra damage for like the puddles or something like that. Also, I did notice that when I was um, grinding the other metals that these statues do start glowing, but I don't actually know what they do. Like when I click on them, they make like kind of a little bit of explosion thing, but let me see what happens if I do it like now. Oh, okay. That's pretty powerful. Um, I don't know how much damage that do, but that might be useful for like 98 or something like that. Just knocking down the RBE of that round just a little bit would be really helpful. All right, so here's the BFB on 60. I don't think this should be too bad. Um, I'll just use cocktails in case. Didn't think I need it, but just be uh, safe. So balloon solver now. This should carry the mid game pretty easily up until I get tax zone, and then after that, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I have a lot of money kind of left over, so I'll just kind of save it. I'll just invest it into support, honestly. You know, the downside of this strategy, I realized, is that because BFBs are so slow, it actually takes a little bit of time for them to actually enter the portal so they can be damaged. That's really only going to be kind of exacerbated when we get up to kind of ZOMGs and eventually BAD. Well, thankfully, there's only one I have to deal with, but the ZOMG is going to be kind of annoying having to wait for them. Um, I guess I could always get Embrittlement. That's always a good option. The only issue is I don't really have any space to kind of put it like next to the tack. I could put it like above. I'm not really sure if that's a good spot, though. All right. Embrittlements now. And then I could see how much money I would have left over on 77. I probably have a decent amount. Um, do I kind of want to risk it though? Yeah, I don't know. I could get Mermonkey down. Um, it would be nice to go for not for Symphonic. Uh, I can't remember what the tier five is called, but I could always stop at the tier four. As the tier four is not bad at all. Yeah, I think this will probably be the last tower I get. Although I don't know if it'd be worth it going for here though, because I would probably just end up Pierce capping Taxon. Taxon doesn't really have a whole lot of Pierce, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. And I think I will just end up getting Mib just to be a little bit more consistent. It allows me to be lazy. And I could also save it for Call to Arms. That's not a bad option either. Also, I just realized this is more expensive than I remember it being. Um, I think this did get a little bit of a price hike in the most recent update. Which, to be honest, doesn't really surprise me as kind of Alk has always been kind of a staple in kind of Bloom. So it doesn't surprise me that they eventually nerf it a little bit. Now that I was saying before, ZOMGs are going to take a really long time to actually enter the range of my defense. It's probably going to take doubly long once we get up to this guy. I'm kind of curious to see how powerful these statues are, so I'm going to kind of wait until the first BFB starts entering the portal and see how much damage it does. Like now. That's pretty powerful. It also stuns too, so that's really good. I'm kind of hoping this comes up for 98. If not, I may have screwed myself. Not that I was going to plan on relying for it for round 98. I think we can handle it just fine as we are. But it would be nice to have. Um, I could maybe get it like here. I think it's fine. The Mermonkeys also got a buff. But yeah, the stack's up to 10 times instead of 5 now. Also, I don't believe you need to put the Mermonkeys in range to kind of get benefits of the buff. So, I'll just kind of put them all here. I don't know if it's worth it going for all 10, but... I'll kind of have excess money, so... Oh well. And I think the rest of the game is going to be kind of smooth sailing from here. Not really much I can really add. 
Um, I might need to get Spike Storms or something for an 100. A first strike also wouldn't be a bad option. I think I'll get a first strike just in case. As the insides might be a little bit of an issue depending on how late we end up popping the uh, BAD. Let's see how DTs are. I don't think they should be all that bad. Yep, easy. This guy makes DTs pretty easy when the ability is up, anyways. Um, I think I might get Final Harmonic. Wouldn't be too bad. I think even if I get Final Harmonic, I'll still have enough money to be able to afford for a strike. As the last few rounds do give a decent amount of money. Alright, Final Harmonic now. And then... Yeah, I'll get first strike right now. And I think that's all I'll get. I don't think we'll need any more towers. Now, I do kind of question whether or not this should even be an advanced map, because this seems pretty easy so far. And I'm not really sure if I'd really consider these towers like meta. Like, you know, Bloom Solver is pretty good. Taxone's decent. Farm Harmonic is also fairly good. But I mean, I don't know. I'd probably bump this down to kind of intermediate, maybe. Here comes 95. I don't think we'll need Sabo for this round. And even if things are hard, I could always use Firestorm for the plus one damage. Yeah, even without Fun Harmonic's uh, thing active, we're shredding DTs nicely. So the only rounds I'd be worried about is 98 and 99. I uh, don't think Fortified DTs are going to be that bad, but who knows. Right, let's see how the FCMGs are. They shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, pretty easy. Right, here's 98. Do have Sabo active. I think I'll kind of take this slow. Um, These aren't active for 98. I think that should be fine. I wasn't planning on relying on those anyway, so oh well. I think I might use Sabo when um, CMGs get in. I mean, this is looking pretty dense right now. Um, but we seem to be kind of doing fine at the moment. Let me speed up a little bit. Yeah, and I think yeah, Sabo is needed. I'll definitely use it for 99. Just do it right now, just be safe. Alright, and then here comes the VAD. I think we'll have enough money for Spike Storm, yep. And then I'll use Spike Storm. And then once the VAD is about to pop, I think I'll, then I'll use um, First Strike. Use Firestorm. Um. Okay, that's a bit too late, but that's fine. I mean, yeah, pretty, pretty easy map. I don't really think I'd really consider this advanced. I'd probably bump this down to intermediate. Um, because, I mean, I guess having options of what lane you want to choose really does kind of make this a bit easier. As you can kind of choose, pick and choose with strategy, you know? Oh, you have really, really good bends here, so Tax Zone or Glaive Lord wouldn't be too bad of options to really kind of go for here. Or if you want to go for kind of a water-based defense, like, you know, uh, uh, this upgrade down here, um, I can't remember the name, or Pirate Lord, you know, you can do that as well, really even like Carrier Flagship as well. And I also think that Apache Prime might be okay here. Um, it's just might be a little bit weird with kind of the portal that might be. Yeah, I don't really think this is advanced. I'd probably bump this down to inter intermediate. But um, yeah, that was that. If you enjoyed, you know, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and join Discord. Link is down below in the description. Uh, have a nice day, everyone. Especially my fellow Floridians. I know there was a hurricane that came out recently.